If you own a gaming PC that's used in Windows 10 or 11, it's very possible that your OS has not been optimized so you need these settings that significantly improve your game and performance and reduce any sort of input delay. So let's dive straight into it. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. Download the optimized Windows pack from my website. I give link in the description and follow me for settings. So now in the first place guys run this program and actually enable our custom profile. So what we then do is go in the main and then we can see active power profile and we want to select bit some highest performance one. This one is the best for any PC, except if you have overheating issues then maybe go over something else like high performance and balance for most of you guys even on pretty mid range PCs. This still gonna be really good. So therefore enable this one. Then we gonna go down here. Go under pro balance. This one should be enabled 100%. And performance mode should also say enabled. Then we gonna move over to options. Then we can see general in here. Now manage processors of all users should be checked. But then we also gonna go down here to refresh. Blue interval. And this one we're going to set to 5 seconds. Going to do exactly the same refresh thing. refresh interval governor. This one we also gonna put to 5 seconds as well. The next step under power guys and performance mode. You gonna make sure that all three of these here are actually checked. Now comes the most tricky part. I at the moment don't really have a game here installed on this Windows PC. So I'm just gonna give you an example with another XA. But whenever you find basically whatever game you wanna boost, say Counter-Strike to Fortnite, Valorant whatever, you just simply have to find the X in here. And what you then only have to do is basically click write. onto it, go into CPU priority, go under always and put it too high. Then we're gonna go under iron O priority, go as well under always. And this one you're also gonna put too high. And finally guys for the power profile, you wanna make sure that you actually load up the bit, some highest performance one. This is what you gonna always do for any game which you wanna play on your PC. Always find it in process less of. And when I actually close the tuna guys, it's not gonna get close completely, but actually get put it into my minimize tray but once you know you actually go under power play we can see that the bitsum highest performance one should be selected and this one is fully optimized as we did it and those are the best settings for any cpu super important guys now run msi and launch it as administrator so therefore run with administration rights click on the yes here real quick and this is not exactly how it should look like guys so therefore what you want to do is actually make sure to check this one here and now a lot of people say for the interrupt priority that you should actually put this on the high but I realized for myself guys, and there's also a lot of data backing this up, that you should actually rather put it on normal guys. Exactly what I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna apply it here real quick. And then we already good to go. This one, you don't have to run in the background whatsoever. It can straight up actually delete it afterwards. And you're good to go. As a next step guys, I'm gonna recommend you the GR Booster, which you can trade for absolutely With free. the link in description, just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite. And it's gonna automatically find for you the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game, which I'm playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is, it's also searching actively in the background, while you're actually playing for the best DNS service. It's consistently also you. showing you the connection between your PC and the router, and the router and the actual game server. So therefore, as mentioned, make sure check it out with the link in description. Now type here PowerShell. Until we can find Windows Partial Right, click onto it and run it as administrator. And just simply click on the yes. And now we have the CM common prompt window. You open and we're gonna paste it in. Then press enter. And you can get this prompt from the FPS. It's gonna boost take a little bit. Because it maybe needs to download something. And once we have the it. The tool should exactly look like this. You guys first of all. Under inside guys. We have a pretty handy list with basically. All of the tools. Which you could want for your Windows PC. I'm not gonna touch this as of right now. Since we're trying to optimize it fully for gaming. But we're gonna move over to Twigs in Vietnam. We have recommended selections desktop laptop minimal clear and get installed what we want to click on is of course desktop for our pc guys if you're on a laptop you're gonna select that one and if you only want to apply minimal tweaks which i would not recommend you since desktop is super safe and you can straight up disable all of these and you can straight up disable all of these you could favoritively also do you it. can see it's gonna be a way less we have only something like run O oh, and zero shut up which is basically disabling a lot of privacy services then we also have something like disable telemetry which is just simply microsoft collecting data of your pc and what this is actually now going to do is reduce the amount of processes by a ton guys and since we want the best outcome and best performance we are actually going to click under desktop we can also of course click the restart point if you want to run a disk cleanup which is not really necessary. since is a brand new version of windows but we definitely also want to do is remove microsoft edge and remove onedrive once we're done with and this we here, selected everything we could also now fireworkly add the automated performance profile which i'm not gonna use as of right now since i'm gonna use a different custom one which i'm gonna show you in a second but now first of all click enter run tweaks here and then you can see the following cm window now basically in the background removing everything you can see all of the services which have been successfully uninstalled 
which are actually a ton once we scroll through this. You guys like you can see the list goes on and on. And once you're not done with we this, we can close the tool. Now guys open up Isolk and basically run the tool here. First of all with the exit, which is delivered in the package. And once the tool is running guys, you can see your total system memory, standby list and system working set, and free memory. And especially the bottom one is the most important because the less free memory you have, chunkier your system is all gonna feel. You know applications are gonna need longer to load up. You maybe wanna open up some files. It's gonna take super long. Opening up Google Chrome and all of that basically. This one here you wanna keep as high as possible. And you can see from my total system memory. 16 gigs here are already being used or whatever. Like I have dope Premiere Pro opens. You know I opened up Google Chrome, Streamlabs and all that. And if I click no. Yeah, under purchase sent by list. You can see that my standby list is gonna get completely clean and I have no again. Here this free memory, but over the time, when you use your PC and you open up, you know, games locations. And of that, your sent by list is gonna again go all the way up. You know, until your free memory is completely at the lowest. So this is exactly where the ISL or intelligence sent by list cleaner comes in. Clutch guys, the list size is at least this one. You're gonna leave on default value 1024. Now for free memory is lower than. You're going to take half off your RAM. So for me right now it's 64 gigs of RAM. So I'm going to put in there roughly 32,000. And I should be good to go. If you're on 32 gigs of RAM, you're gonna put it to 16,000. On 16 gigs of RAM to 8,000. You guys get the point. Basically always half of your RAM. Then here on the right side, what you wanna do is etching. Go under timer resolution and put this to 0.5. They just some beginner changes here guys. Leave it like this it should just say 0.5. Then we're gonna enable custom timer resolution. Make sure to put our ISIL pulling rate on 1000. This is gonna be the best value for most PCS. Should enable it on launch start. You know like this auto minimize start. And then we're gonna click under start. Then as well here on the left side guys. You can see start SLC minimize. We're gonna check that and launch SLC on user log on. So it's basically always running in the background. Making sure that free memory is actually not gonna go under this value. Then we just simply gonna click on start and minimize it and we already good to go. Like on this video as well if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe as that helped me out a ton as well.